In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. What brings you into confession today, lad? You're joking. Your mother has gone and have sex with the personal trainer. Absolutely disgusting. What's her number? <laughs> if she's looking for that good she should come here to the Father. <laughs> hey, everyone. It's time for a little bit more of that contrived commentary. That's right. We're doing a... What the fuck is this? Audience confessional. This is an audience confessional. Christmas confessional. I've reached out to you a lot in the community section. I've asked, have you a Christmas confession? Something you'd like to share with the congregation? And a lot of you volunteered information that you otherwise couldn't get out of me. The FBI couldn't get this one out of me, lad. Uh, yeah, so we're going to just go ahead and read some of these confessions from you all to the uh, no cap all facts on Jesus Christ Gmail. You know, and I thought I'd do it in my graduation outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Our first confession comes from Brianna. Uh, this one is called Christmas Story. One year when I was a child, I woke up and went to the bathroom. I walk out my room to see my parents putting presents under the tree. As someone who thought Santa was real, I was shocked. So I waited until I thought they'd go to bed just to open my door and hear slurping noises. Your mom was having a drink. I was stupid and went to investigate just to see my mom getting some of that Christmas eggnog. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on a mother's lips. <laughs> Fuck that Christmas. Well, I think someone fucked that Christmas. It wasn't you, thankfully. <laughs> this next one is called, My Dad is the Drunk Uncle. Hey, Noel. So yeah, my dad is low-key an alcoholic. L for us, I guess. <laughs> Gen Z seeking therapy is just brutal. Uh, so like low-key, my dad's addicted to drugs. L for us, I guess. But anyway, one Christmas, right before COVID, my dad got super drunk at a family Christmas party. We all typically do, but he just goes a little bit further than us. He didn't say that, I added that in. He was so blasted to the point he slapped my then 12 year old cousin in the face. And everyone was just like, yeah, that's uncle. Even the dad of my cousin who was slapped. <laughs> Holy shit. Is this kid an accident? That can be the only explanation, unless hitting is just in your family. I also heard from another family member that my dad was holding on to the top door beam or whatever it's called because he couldn't even stand up enough by himself to use the bathroom. <laughs> Pretty sure he peed on the floor. Looking like a fucking monkey in there. <laughs> Just swinging from the door handle. If all that doesn't sound fun enough, I was talking to my brother about someone at my school who was slash is a furry on the drive home for whatever reason. And my drunken dad called me a furry because I'm a vegetarian. Well, that's a fair assumption. I still don't even know how these connect. Uh, plus, he knows I'm afraid of mascots and anthrop... Anthrop... Anthro... anthro Homorphic animals, so what the hell? Fucking, do you guys just learn words and string together problems with yourself? The transition and dialogue here. My dad is low-key an alcoholic. L for us, I guess. Yeah, so I, my dad calls me a furry because I'm vegetarian and he knows I don't like anthropomorphic animals. So like, what the f Are you dumb or are you smart? Which one is it? Pick one. This is why I spend the holidays with my mom's side and am Jewish now. Oh my. <laughs> God, dude. Uh, my dad does not respect my fear of anthropomorphic animals, so I switched to Judaism. So what's the problem? If I was your dad, I'd be drunk as hell too. Listen to you. I don't even know you and I'm tired of it. Dad, you know I don't like these anthropomorphic shapes. Oh, God. What do you want to do then? I can't grill. We can't talk about animals. We can't watch football because the Bengals scare you. What do you want to do with me, son? I see why your dad's the drunk uncle. That's all I'm saying. It's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not your fault. I don't know. Just ask him if he's still sad that his dad went to the war or some shit. <laughs> you know, it's a great TikTok. It's just a video captioned football players in the 1950s. And it's just a guy receiving like the hiked ball. And he's like, ah, ah, I have PTSD. Here's one. Almost free mall Santa photos. Hi, Noel. It's finally time to share the story that has my parents debating whether or not to disown me every Christmas. No, it's not. Moving on. <laughs> The end of that one's pretty good. We will never know. <laughs> Christmas confession. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll read it, we'll read it. So a few years ago, my family really wanted to do the whole mall Santa photo shoot. I'm from a large family, seven of us total. So we knew it'd get pretty pricey. Being the oldest, I decided I'd treat my parents and pay for the photo shoot. Oh, that's so sweet. After raising you for 18 years, you thought, hey mom, let me get this one. $27 for a family photo with Santa? 
I got it. They were really excited and immediately went into the specifics of what we'd wear and how they want the pictures to turn out. This specific mall near me doesn't require you to pay beforehand, but it does require a reservation around their peak hours. So I put in our reservation and went to move on to prepaying. As I was checking out, it displayed that single photos for the seven of us plus one family photo would cost $140. Mind you, my parents also wanted multiple group photos, kid photos, etc., etc. So instead of prepaying, I showed my parents the reservation confirmation and just figured once we'd get there, I'd just get the pictures. Tell my family to head back to the car and run out the mall. So you're gonna steal on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the mall's stealing. I like it. I didn't realize until we showed up that they require payment before taking the pictures. So at this point, the payment elf <laughs> was asking me for my credit card info. And I had to pull him aside and try to convince him I had already paid and to let us take our pictures. Of course, I didn't have the receipt and they didn't have it in their system that I already paid. So he started to accuse me of trying to scam them. At this point, my family started making their way over to where I had pulled him aside. So I quickly said, sir, if you just let us take these pictures, I promise I'll blow you during your lunch break. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on the bottom of your face. <laughs> At first, he didn't really say anything, but then he went over to the cameraman who waved us over. We take a shit ton of pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Men are lonely, dude. <laughs> Men are fucking lonely. Oh my God, dude. Christmas elf, dead end ass seasonal job. You gotta pay for those pictures. What if I suck your dick? He just turns to the cameraman. Yo, dude, I need you to take as many fucking pictures as you can of this girl and her family right now. I'll blow you if you do it. <laughs> Blowjobs is just a pyramid scheme. It's just a perpetuating the cycle. We take a ton of pictures. My parents have their perfect little Christmas photo shoot, and I had to stay behind and blow some... She actually did it. Let this be a holiday lesson in keeping your word. <laughs> she wasn't lying. She blew that 35 year old man on the loading dock. I guess he did have something to unload, didn't he? My parents didn't find out until years later when I blew him in our backyard. <laughs> 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 she didn't do that, she didn't do that. When my younger brother joked that I only give blowjob if the dude's shoes are pointy with little bells on the ends. <laughs> I feel like we've never had a good Christmas since. What mall was this? Here's a fun one. I shattered a glass ordainment. Someone get this girl babble for Christmas. Relearn English. Sick roast, dude. I shattered a glass ordainment, ornament, on my mom, and she doesn't know it was me. Why? Because she was unconscious? <laughs> She's bleeding from the back of her head. Hey, Noel and team. Oh, yeah. By the way, there were some, there were some submissions where people were pretty... Pretty aggressively mean to the team. You're, you're immediately not getting through on those. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Let's get one thing straight. Okay. Just because I abuse them doesn't mean you get to abuse them. Okay. These are my kids. No, but seriously, uh, jokes towards the team will not be tolerated and you're not entitled to that. Okay. You're in the audience. That's right, you little bitches. Shut the fuck up. On the subject of being mean, a lot of you think I'm maybe a little bit too mean to Alex, and you're wrong. But you guys, some of you say he deserves a little more screen time <laughs> for the amount of abuse he endures. And that I can agree with. So I've decided that we're gonna do a whole video dedicated to Alex. Um, and what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna rent an excavator. <laughs> and he gets to swing from it. <laughs> I love swings. <laughs> we'll see if we keep that one. Oh, this will be a good one. Cyber Shrek. Oh, and he's got Shrek as the profile picture. <laughs> hey, Noel, parentheses, suck my balls, Alex. You don't get to talk to Alex like that. Moving on. I'm going on tour in less than 30 days, and I just need to remind you that I'm coming to your city more than likely. I'm starting in Texas. I'm going to Dallas. I'm going to San Antonio. I'm going to Houston. I'm going to New Orleans. I'm going to Nashville. So buy a ticket to the tour. It's going to be a great show. It's going to be a great time, a pivotal moment in my own life. I want you to be there. It's my first solo tour. It's going to be great. A lot of show dates are three quarters full, so don't sleep. Buy a ticket. Noel Miller, 2023. Everything is fucked. I'm going to see you there. Back to the story. When I was in seventh grade, I had a friend over for Christmas break. It was 3 a.m. and we were sneaking around like annoying kids do. And we had an idea to throw ornaments 
You said ordainments again. I think like being ordained yeah, is like is like yeah, that's becoming like, a priest. Yeah, that's right? becoming a priest. <laughs> you threw like some priests off the balcony. <laughs> we decided to throw ordainments from upstairs to try and land them on the tree. I eventually threw a glass ordainment and it fell and broke. Long story short, hearing glass shattering at 3 a.m. is probably going to wake you up. So my mom rushes out her room and sees an ordainment laying outside the tree broken. But I was already going to throw another one. So I threw the glass ordainment at my mom's head and it shattered directly on her forehead. She was bleeding, so she went to clean it and woke my dad up and anyone with black parents knows, yeah, you better hide. So me and my friend go pretend to sleep and my parents busted in my room to find me pretending to wake up and asking, mom, are you okay? What happened to your head? A few seconds later, I heard my brother getting his ass beat. Unlucky for him, he had a whole pack of ordainments right next to him that were the same color as the one that hit my mom. Needless to say, he didn't have a good Christmas. My mom still clowns him about it to this day because he always says it wasn't him and she's never gonna find out it was me or my ass is crazy. I'm uncomfortable with this one because you got a white profile picture. Yeah, your brother took that ass beating and you just, you just ran away with that. Let this be a lesson in Christ. Take a beating for your brother at all costs, even if it means you're never coming back. Judas snitched and what did Jesus do? Took some f nails through his hands. All right, anyway. Me, my ex, and a bridge. Huh, is that a Taylor Swift song? Hi, Noel. Here's my traumatic Christmas story. About two years ago, me and my girlfriend at the time wanted to do something for Christmas since it was our first one together. I figured we'd go on a walk. Somewhere nice. Neither of us really had money to buy gifts for each other. And I knew a cute little bridge that was near where we lived. Had a nice view. So I suggest, why don't we have a walk there? And she was all for it. My original plan was for us to walk there together, but I ended up running late. So she said she'd meet me there. She must have waited nearly an hour for me to show up. And what made it worse, it was one of the coldest days of the year. When I got there, she was admiring the view while listening to music with her headphones in. Ladies, for your own personal safety, never stand at a bridge by yourself with noise canceling headphones. <laughs> Just my back to the city. Everything's all right. Nothing bad could possibly... <laughs> As Jesus would say, always have one AirPod out. I tried to get her attention, but her music was clearly too loud for her to hear me. So I walked up behind her and lightly jabbed her hip with my hand in an attempt to scare her. That's a good idea. I thought I'd show an endearing little gesture and scare the shit out of her. I think that's cute. Now what I didn't expect was her to fall off the bridge. <laughs> I decided to jab her. <laughs> lifting her up. You punch her in the back of the fucking shoulder. Sending her over the top. What did you do? Luckily, it wasn't that high of a drop. Nothing too bad happened. But she did break one of her legs. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't that bad. She just broke her leg and suffered a head injury. How did she fall, dude? Punched in the back of the skull. Yeah, yeah, the punch was, the jab was the head injury. The head injury caused her to forget what happened. So I told everyone she slipped and fell off before I had a chance to do anything. As I said, this was two years ago and I haven't told anyone that I basically pushed her off. I'm not with the girl anymore because she can't remember how to walk. And I thought, kind of an L girlfriend. <laughs> Plus, now she looks all anthropomorphic and it freaks me out. And I'm vegetarian and all she can eat is meat, so I'm not really interested anymore. That's sarcasm. What he actually said was, I'm not with the girl, but our parents are friends, so I still see her and her family at Christmas, where they will bring her up the ADA ramp. <laughs> He's not serious. So they'll still wheel her up the back <laughs> ramp to the house and we all sing songs. She can't quite vocalize anything anymore because her trachea is broken. No, I still, th this is not what happened. He still sees her at Christmas and they'll bring up the story more than once throughout the day and repeatedly say how grateful they are that I was there. <laughs> wow. Dude, I need you to break your leg on purpose. <laughs> An eye for an eye. An eye for an eye. And just show up to Christmas. And when she's like, oh my God, what happened? I want you to just look at her and let's call it even. Oh, you know when you can tell her? On her wedding day. She's all happy. It's the best day of her life. And you're like, oh man, <laughs> crazy you're getting married. Especially since I pushed you off that bridge. <laughs> Sorry. But hey, you found the one. And you slap her on the back and then she falls off the <laughs> banister at the wedding party at the reception and it happens all over again. Pineapples remind me of an awful Christmas. Oh, this was just sad. I don't know if you want to this. I don't know if you want to read this one. Yeah, I just actually saw the ending <laughs> sentence. So anyway, the next day I found out that both my parents were in jail and would be and it would be a few days. I don't really remember the days in between, but on Christmas Day, the siblings and me got to go home. Uh, when we got there, my parents promised to never do that again, and then my dad cut up a pineapple to eat and we 
open presents. My parents are liars and continue to go to jail a few times after. Wonder how that happened. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> and this has been a Christmas confession special. We'll see you next time in the booth. I didn't come here to play, now I came with a plan. I'm the star inside my circle, I'm the pentagram, whoa. Making sacrifices just to get the lamb, oh. I'm trying to see how fast that hurricane go. Eyes burning, no sleep, hustle is OD. 